Hey, what's up guys? Bajira here. Had an awesome back workout today, and I wanted to share it with you. Uh, what you're listening to right now, just in case you're curious, is indeed Adept. One of my favorite bands to listen to for my workout music. Just wanted to put that out there, just, just to give them a quick shout out for letting, uh, letting me use their awesome music in my videos. But anyway, I'm um, getting started off here. I'm just bringing you guys into the video when I'm doing my sort of the end of my, my warm-up sets, which is uh, 225. I'm starting to feel more confident on my deadlifts, still working on my form, of course. Uh, things I'm trying to keep in mind now, I, I am trying to keep my butt low when I'm uh, when I'm starting off at least, and I want to make sure I'm using my legs a whole lot during the actual lift, because I know deadlifts are a great back exercise, but it's one of those things that I'm trying to use to help grow my hamstrings, but of course I'm keeping my back really tight, and what I mean by that is I'm actually flexing my back throughout the exercise, actually flexing my traps throughout the exercise to give myself a really, really solid uh, solid base to pull from. So there's not really a whole lot of wiggling going on, not a whole lot of looseness going on in my lift, so I can really focus on powering with my legs and pulling really hard with my back. And uh, as you can see here, look what I got on my wrists there, guys. I got some wrist wraps, or some wrist straps, I should say, because those are a little bit di different pieces of equipment. But regardless, um, I was always really frustrated with the amount that my grip I felt held me back during my back workouts because eventually, you know, your grip gets tired. And if you can't hold on to all that heavy ass weight, then you're missing out on a whole lot of good work that you could be putting into your legs and your back. So I went ahead and got myself some uh, some wrist wraps, and it makes a huge difference for me. Now I understand I might be losing out on a little bit of forearm strength, a little bit of grip strength by using these wraps, but the amount of deadlifting and the amount of uh, heavy pulling exercises that I can do uh, really evens it out because when I deadlift, I'm not deadlifting to make my forearms stronger. I'm trying to build a strong back and a strong set of legs. And uh, just judging from my past few uh, back workouts that I've had with these straps, that's very, very well worth my time because I can be a lot more strict on my form and I can focus a lot more on keeping the exercise in my legs and in my back rather than worrying about you know whether I can grip this bar or swapping my grip to over underhand, which could potentially tear your bicep if you don't do it right. So. In a lot of ways, I think this is a this is a smart move for me just to help build my my body parts that I actually want to work on, and for safety reasons, of course, too. But I'm not just like you know this bar isn't just hanging from my wrists, you know. You still have to grip that thing real hard, and you're not just having it hang off of your shoulders. So you actually are still able to use a lot of the muscles that you actually want to use, rather than focusing so much just on your grip, which is what was holding me back a lot of times. So today's workout was warming up. Um, from, you know, I did really, I mean, I warm up with 135 and then 185, but the, the sort of warm up to workout uh, transition comes around the 225. So I do two sets of 10 reps of 225, and then I'll do two to four sets of eight reps of 275, and then the main work comes above 275, where I'll do six sets of six reps of 315. Sometimes I'll uh, go to 295 first, but today I just went right to 315 and did my six sets of six reps and I was very happy with that. Today I felt strong, but I didn't end up going any higher than 315. One, because I was pretty, pretty fatigued. I was not taking much recovery time. Plus my gym was going all Planet Fitness on me and telling me to stop slamming the weights. So I was like, whatever, I'm just gonna do my sets and drop the weight down a little bit more and uh, you know, get some, get some quality reps in at a lower weight. I mean, I don't feel like I'm slamming the weights anyway, but Whatever, I still had a really, really nice workout today. Always, always love deadlifts, which is why I'm showing you pretty much every set of deadlifts that I did today. Instead of just like picking out my favorite two or whatever, which is sometimes what I do whenever I want to make the videos shorter, I'm showing you every every deadlift I did pretty much today, except for the little wimpy ones during the warm up. But these were strong. I was I was trying to focus on my form. Uh, I noticed that when I checked the video after I did a few earlier on, that I felt like I was putting it. I, all these deadlifts feel great to me, but I wanted to make sure that I wasn't, you know, relying on my back too much to just yank it up there. And then I actually was using my legs, so you guys can correct me on my form or if, if things are looking off. Just give me a couple pointers in case there's anything particular that you think I need to work on. But in terms of the way these deadlifts feel, I definitely don't feel any, any pressure or strain in my lower back. Um, I definitely feel like I am using my legs a whole lot, and I'm pulling this bar pretty much right up my... Most of the time, it's right up my shins. And then I will use my upper back at the end of the lift to really lock it in. And I was happy with that today. So, like I said, I'm going to finish off going back down with a couple... I think I did, uh, at the end of this, I did four sets 
of 275. And then I think that I did uh, like another two or to four of 225. So just, just to complete my warm down and really work on my the, the squeeze and my hamstrings and my glutes at the end. That's what I was really focusing on today, along with keeping my upper back tight. And I, like I'm saying, these normally during this this phase of my workout, my my forearms would already just be toast. But since I had these uh, these wrist straps to sort of help help support my wrists, not do all the not, not do all the, the pulling for me or the holding for me, but you know it's just it's just a little bit of support, so you can really focus on keeping the keeping the exercise where it needs to be. So I was doing some some bent over rows here. Uh, I wasn't really bending over all that far because I wanted to keep the I wanted to just basically pull the bar up like just like almost like a deadlift again, but the same idea is uh, pulling the bar up my legs pretty much and pulling it right into my hips. I'm not pulling it up to my chest, not even really pulling it up to my belly button or anything. I'm pulling it right into my hips. And I think that's gonna help me out with my lower lats and I really felt it there today. So you can see wh how, what I mean by just almost just pulling it right up my thighs, not actually touching my thighs, but just pulling it right into my belt line basically. And I'm, help I'm imagining and I'm feeling that in my, uh, in my lower back more than my upper back. Uh, for, for upper back, uh, I think rowing helps, like really good rowing movements. That It's not really this, of course. This is sort of a bit of a row. It's a bent over row, but you know what I mean. I'll show you at the end of the video. These are for these are for the lower part of my back, which I feel like does need a little bit more development. Hopefully, as I continue to diet down and lose body fat, my lats will become more defined. But right now, I feel like I could get my back a little bit wider um, and, of course, thicker too. But if you guys are curious on, on my diet progress, Right now, I'm, I'm holding at about 196 in this video even, so I'm feeling pretty good and, you know, some, some days on the diet you wonder if you're doing the right thing and so far, I mean, the, the scale tells me that I'm doing well because I don't really feel like I'm losing a whole lot of strength on my current diet. I mean, of course, when you diet in general, you are going to lose strength, but I'm not losing all that much, but my weight is still coming down, so that's good. 196 is not bad. If I can get into the 180s, I think I will be in pretty mean shape in terms of doing my first competition. Nothing too crazy. Uh, I really don't really have all that high expectations in terms of my placing in my first competition, but uh, I think it'll be a fun way to to you know get, get a feel for the scene and uh, round out my sort of first real, I would say this is my first real year of training and bodybuilding. But I've been training really hard for the past two years, but I think this one is the is the most focused and the most intense and one that I could actually call a year in bodybuilding. So I'm gonna transition out of the out of the deadlifts and out of the rows with some pull-ups. You guys said that you don't see me doing a whole lot of pull-ups. Uh, so here's some pull-ups for you guys. Uh, you notice I'm not going really, really like high, putting my chin over the bar, like all the way over the bar in these. It's because I'm, I'm doing the, these for more of a pull in my, um, the width of my lat and I've got I've got uh, my hands pretty far out, so I'm not really, you know, if my hands are in really, really close, I could easily pull my chin over the bar, but instead of doing that, I'm trying to pull with the width of my lats, which will hopefully, hopefully help grow them out, but it's a little bit different on the, on the pull-down machine, which is what I transitioned to after the pull-ups, do a couple pull-downs, and the pull-downs, I am still trying to use the, the, the big, wide part of my lat, but I'm also doing a couple reps where I do try to pull with my upper back a little bit too, allow my upper back to get into it. We transition from, you know, really, really lower lat, move up a little bit, and now this is at the, you know, a third move up my lat here. So getting, getting of course, my my big old back muscles involved, but also maybe I'll leave a little bit of my shoulder, a little bit of my trap here, and uh, definitely feeling some fatigue here. So I'm not going super heavy, but I am trying my best to keep my form going pretty good because I think I do respond really well to good form and good volume so I am gonna go and now these are the rows where I am really trying to pull with my upper back quite a bit and just something to keep in mind if you guys ever want to try to train your back is a good thing to keep in mind is really don't really pull with your hands because for me personally that's when I start to feel it more in my bicep when I try to focus more on pulling my hands to anywhere what I would like to pull with, your hands are just there to keep that weight in place. And pull with your elbows. Pull your elbows back. Pull your elbows to your to your hips. Or just thrust your elbows straight back. Depending on where you want to work your, your back. But I think a lot of the back work that I've done, and, and you know, when I feel like I'm getting the most uh, the most activation in my back is when I really focus on pulling my elbows back or pulling my elbows down. So that's what I'm doing here with these. 
but I'm also really trying to focus on keeping the pull really high up in my back because your traps do get involved in exercises like this and I feel like my traps are one of those things that really needs to grow and of course your shoulders do as well even though it's a mainly a back exercise but any sort of pulling like this is gonna get the your rear delt and your traps a little bit so I do two two well actually I think I did a full six sets actually with uh, my grip that way and now I'm gonna do it with my with an overhand grip which is also going to try to help get the back of my shoulders and definitely um, my the, my very very upper back. So I'm trying to get a lot of development going on all throughout my back. You know whether it's with the deadlifts, which is actually just the back of my legs and your entire back, even your traps. And then I'm trying to round it out. You know, moving almost up my back with some pull ups, and then pull downs, and then rows, and then to finish it off with a couple abs. Uh, normally I do just a lot a lot of crunches, but at this particular gym. I do like to use this uh, this weighted abs machine just because it's, it's a little different and it does give me more resistance than just doing a crunch normally does. So do a couple sets of abs and then that, that sort of rounds out my back workout for the day. But um, training overall is going good. I am feeling strong. I definitely can't deny the effect that uh, that all the awesome supplements that Cellucor, uh provides me with. is uh, It's a really huge help and I definitely encourage you guys, you know, whether you're just starting your fitness journey or you're looking for something to help you push past whatever barriers you're facing, definitely check out the Cellucor products because as amazing as it is, you guys can get them for 20% off with the promo code BAJ. And that makes me really happy to be able to provide you with stuff that's helped me out so much because I've been using Cellucor stuff for like five years. Longer than I've been playing WoW even to put that in perspective. So throughout, throughout this dieting process, it's amazing to have such an awesome supplement company at my back just as much as, as it is amazing to read all the comments and all of your feedback because that is such a huge source of support and motivation for me. So by all means, keep it up. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, thank you so very much for watching. It makes a world of difference. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.